Ooh, that is just like rolling. The F -F. Okay, we'll start again because now <laughs> I just lost my train of thought. It's fine. <laughs> Welcome to my channel, My First Guy Me. I'm Dr. Lusanda Shimange Matsuse, founder of My First Guy Me. You're probably wondering what My First Guy Me is about. Well, it's basically about cementing that um, patient guy me relationship, you know, the foundational blocks, building that relationship, because people always get so nervous as soon as you mention guy me. So this is My First Guy Me. Every week I'm going to tackle a different subject or a different issue pertaining to my first guy. So this week I'm going to address what you should expect from your first guy. This is going to exclude the examination, so you need to really keep tuned in because that's going to be in our next episode, Riveting Stuff. So today we're talking about what you should expect from your first guy. Right, so, you know, a gynae, is there a correct time to see a gynae or isn't there? Well, that's an issue for a different day. But basically what you should expect, whether you are a teenager or you're just an old person who's never actually been to a gynae or you're pregnant and all of a sudden you want to go and see a gynae, this is what you should expect. Either way, four things that we are going to address. That's it. Every gynae visit, more specifically. Your first guy right so there's two different ways of looking at this there's the four pillars which is your pre-pubertal which is basically before you go through puberty your pubertal slash reproductive stage this is when you're going through puberty and you're in your reproductive period your pre-menopausal that's before you go into menopause and then lastly your menopausal stage that is when you are actually going through menopause then the other way of looking at it is the four tools. So the four tools is what you should expect within your gynae exam, within your first gynae appointment. So the first one, it serves as information, a tool to give you information about your body, the changes your body goes through or anything that you experience as a woman, regardless of what, what life stage you're at. Secondly, it serves as health is the health education prevention arm um, in that what you should do in order to prevent getting disease. I'll go into more details later. Thirdly, it would be the management arm. This is where we dig deep. This is where we basically ask questions, we examine, we um, investigate, you know, to get down to the bottom of your problem. And lastly is the follow-up arm. What we have prescribed or what we have done, has it worked for you? So, Depending on your life stage, whether it's pre-pubertal, pubertal slash reproductive, premenopausal or menopausal, regardless of what stage of your life you go and see your first gynae, these four tools must be tackled. Information, prevention slash health education, management, and of course, follow up. So that's the first episode of My First Gynae. So if you want to know more about what we just spoke about, you can go to my website myfirstguyney.com and follow me on Twitter, myfirstguyney and please leave your comments below and see you next episode. This is Dr. Lissanda Shimange Matsuse, My First Guy. Awesome. So then... Oh, this thing is so stressful. No. Like it was just a perfect, like, like oh my god, like she's educated, she's <laughs> She's got like two babies.